Hi everyone, you're welcome back. I just want to say thanks for watching and if you are enjoying this content, kindly subscribe to our channel to get updates on our stories. A New Purpose Sequel to High School Dilemma Written by Kwame Botman and narrated by Della Doreen This is a work of fiction, unless otherwise indicated, all the names, characters, businesses, places, events, and incidents in this book are either the product of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. No portion of this book may be reproduced in any form without written permission from the publisher or author. Two weeks have passed since their discussion on the purpose of schooling. Hansen visited Darcy in his cubicle. He was shocked to see Darcy packing out. The other maids tried to stop him. It didn't work. Hey, Darcy, who's after you? Hansen asked. No one. I'm leaving. My parents may be angry at me, but it wouldn't last forever. But Wasi is in a... Go right, your Wasi. Count me out. Darcy cut in. Why do I get the feeling that you fear to write the exams because you know you will fail? Will you bet on it? I will write and pass if you will bet me. I will still not need a certificate. Hansen joined him in packing his belongings. The other maids expressed frustration. Was he there to support Darcy in leaving school? Or had he come to persuade him to stay? Darcy, I think we will miss you, Hansen said. I will be at my mom's door most of the time. You can always visit. Darcy said as he handed Hansen a pair of sandals. Put this on the side of my bag. Hansen took it and forced it there, nearly destroying the zip. So what becomes of your future career as a graphic designer? Oh, about that. I came across a graphic design venture in my neighborhood. The designer utilizes computer software for his project, Darcy said, and quickly added, by the way, what we are doing here is not graphic design at all. Hansen gave him a confused expression. Darcy ignored him and removed some boxer shorts hanging on the wire mesh of the window. No one uses poster colors to create posters for profit, Kojo. In the actual world, Everything is designed using software and printed by machines, he clarified. Hansen recognized the truth in Darcy's words. He had been previously introduced to the interface of Adobe Corel Draw, and most of the posters and graphic design works he encountered were created using machines. In the practical world, the use of poster colors seemed unnecessary when computers were the primary tools. Yeah, I know. I guess you have a good point. Maybe I should follow you. Darcy gave him a warning look that said, Don't dare. Hansen got the message. 
He then hit the nail on the head. You've uncovered a key to true success, but attempting to apply it alone might lead to failure. Wait, what do you mean? If you have 10 brothers and you are the only one who is well off, what would you do? Is that another random question? I don't know. I would help them. Dazi replied. How? I would give them money if they need money. Everyone needs money. So you want every one of them to draw from your wallet, huh? How else would you do it? Dazi asked. He locked his chop box and pushed it close to his trunk. Give me a hand, Dazi requested. Hansen helped him lift the trunk onto the chop box. I wouldn't sacrifice my wallet for each one of them. I'd rather show them how I made money and set them on their own path, Hansen said. Dazi paused in his parking. It seemed like something had just struck him. Wait, how do you mean? He asked. I mean, it's better to show them how to make money and take care of themselves than to let them always come to you for money. Don't you think that will free you of some financial burden? That surely will do. Plus, in case I need help, they could help. But if I'm the only one helping, what happens if I need help? Dazi reasoned. It was a rhetorical question, but he was trying to connect it with what exactly Hansen was trying to say. Hansen was quiet for a while. Hansen picked up the mattress from the bed and signaled one of the guys to assist him in rolling and tying it. Be clear with me, Hansen, Darcy said. Exactly what are you trying to say to me? Hansen placed a rolled mattress on the trunk. He drew close to John and placed his hand on his shoulder. Dazzy, can we talk briefly outside? Hansen said, already leading Dazzy outside the cubicle. Dazzy reluctantly followed. Time is running out. I'll be quick. When they reached outside, both stood tall, towering over the wall. You found a path to success quickly. But look around you. Hansen started. Darcy was silent, trying to hear whether Hansen would make sense. Look at me. Look at our friends and other students. They don't have the mindset you have now. We are all just passing through school with the hope of making good grades and then hustling for a job from someone or a company we don't know exists. Do you want all of us to quit like you're doing? Hansen asked. That's not what I want. You people don't have to quit. I'm dropping out. It's my decision. And it's a good one. Your success is assured. But looking ahead, how would you feel if you witnessed any of us, especially those with creative talents, unemployed and forsaking their skills, or engaging in various unnecessary tasks solely for meager returns? Well, I wouldn't be happy to see that happen. Then why don't you stop it now? Hansen asked. Wait, stop what? You don't get it. 
they need to know what you know now. They may think I'm stupid. Stupid for dropping out of school. Not stupid for exposing them to reality. Hansen quickly added. Sure, let me inform them. Darcy suggested, motioning to return to the dorm. However, Hansen intercepted by gently holding Darcy's hand, preventing him from leaving. You'll be extremely stupid to go tell them now. So, when do I tell them? I have to leave soon. Darcy paused. He realized something. Hold on a second. You are not telling me all this for no reason, are you? I'm telling you to think about the opportunity you have to hold the network of friends you have now and impact them for your own future. No, I think you are telling me something quite different. Something that would disrupt my evening and plans. Does he realize that to really help his friend see from his perspective, dropping out wasn't the best. He must rescind his decision, stay and open their eyes. Hansen wasn't there to help him pack up and go home. He came there with a subtle agenda. Darcy frowned, gazing at Hansen, who returned his look with a dry stare. You idiot. You didn't come here to help me pack. You came to tell me to reconsider my decision. You idiot. Get out of here. Go. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Darcy shouted at him and Hansen quickly left, trying to avoid any scenes. The next day, at the amphitheater, the students gathered for the morning briefing. After singing the school ode, Hansen felt a touch on his shoulder. He turned and saw Darcy in his uniform, smiling at him. You are still here? Hansen asked. Yep, I guess I was wrong with my decision to leave. Good. Don't get me wrong. I think you're still an idiot. Hansen smiled. He has achieved his purpose of making Darcy stay. I've considered your perspective and I believe you're right. People need to understand what lies ahead if they navigate this type of education blindly. Great! You have given me a sense of purpose, Kujo, but I still think you're an idiot. You love that word. I can't do it alone. I'll need your help. I'm in, said Hansen. So, how do we begin? Hansen smiled. He had everything planned out the night before. In case Darcy quit school, he decided to go on that journey. Let's begin by teaching in-demand graphic design skills to our peers that they can apply in the real world now. He suggested, pulling out a sheet of paper from his sachel and handing it over to Darcy. It was a detailed plan with timelines, contact and strategies for acquiring resources to execute all of them. Darcy stared at the sheet for a while, and his initial reaction was, Hansen, you are an idiot. This ends our story. If you found it interesting, kindly show your support by liking and sharing. You can also share your thoughts in the comments 
and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.